Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please subscribe and help us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you're watching today. Today I'm doing an unboxing of a 50 pound denim rescue box from Thread Up. I will be doing the entire un unboxing in one take, one video. So this one will be pretty long. Um, I did ask a couple of weeks ago if you guys preferred short 15 minute hauls or these longer ones. The general consensus seemed to be that folks like the longer ones because you can just put it on and listen while you work. So I'm here to accommodate. So get comfortable, get out your stuff that you're photographing or measuring today, whatever you're working on, and just put me on in the background and you can listen and learn as we go through these boxes. If you've never seen me do a thread up unboxing before, what I do is uh, pull each piece out and we'll talk a little bit about some of the brands. This is a teaching channel, so I always try to teach. It's not just about the haul and what I got. I try to talk about some of the brands and why or why not I would source them. Target sell price, if I know offhand, if it's not something that's new to me and I wouldn't comp have to comp it and I know the price I want. I also keep track as we go along of poop bread and butter and the money money brands and we will discard anything that's not sellable say it's damaged or ripped beyond repair or beyond being able to sell at the end i count the total amount of pieces that are viable for us to resell and i say pieces because it's not always jeans in these boxes so i've gotten jean skirts i've gotten denim jackets i've gotten uh, dresses, so I say pieces, but we'll count all the pieces I got in the 50 pound startup box, divide it by the total cost and figure out cost per piece. Also, I will be keeping a small pile to the left of brands that are new to me that I'm not familiar with that we will comp together at the end if there's any of those to look them up. I paid $50 for 50 pounds of denim plus $10.99 shipping. All in, it was $60.99 for this box. Now, I haven't seen what's inside of it yet, except for these. Um, but I have not seen what's in here. The original thread up box that came in has been opened, and Keith did wash and dry all of the jeans and rebox them and bring them up here for me to show you guys. So, this is. Still technically an unboxing as I haven't seen any of it. Uh, we just like to get it washed and dried before we bring it into the actual house. I did see these because they were new with tags. And so we brought these up separate for me to steam clean. So these are just kind of, they're meh brands. I mean, the MSRP on this one is $75. I don't know that Billabong is still that popular. I'm not going to sneeze at this. It's new with tags. And it's denim shorts. And you guys know that denim shorts are a class of their own. Some poop brands of jeans can do really well if it's just the shorts or the cutoffs. So I'm going to call these bread and butter. Um, $59.95. Sorry, that's Canada money. Apparently I was in Canada today. It's going to not focus there we go so you know we'll probably list these for right around 36 bucks or so so that's bread and butter uh here's the paper i'll be keeping track on you can see i put the total at the top plus shipping and then i have my columns for poop bread and butter and the money monies so we've got one in the bread and butter column This is a poop brand, but um, it's new with tags. I mean, the original price is $60. Just fab. So um, $60 original, you know, just like the other one, probably about $36 bucks is what we'll list it for. We usually don't comp new with tags and just do like 40% off the MSRP. All right, let's start pulling out of here and throwing stuff on the floor. This will just be a good time today because things are already on the floor. J-Brand, you guys. 
This is a bo this is a bolo brand. I'm so excited I can't talk. And they're ripped. Believe it or not, sometimes jeans that are distressed and ripped <laughs> can sell more quickly and for more money. J brand is a money brand. Not quite what it used to be, but it's still good. This is oh, I've never heard of this. This is new to me. Moosey. Moosey, mousy. We will comp that at the end. Oh, I hate white stuff. That's okay. They're gap. This is the best girlfriend. I hate white jeans. And I will not lie. All the other jeans tend to dye them blue. Bread and butter. Oh, more white stuff. They must have heard me say that I hate white stuff because. I swear to God, they send me more and more white stuff every time. These are Gap 1969. Can you see it? Ah, bread and butter. And overalls. These are cute. Even though they're white, these are cute. Universal Thread. That's a poop brand, but I'm going to count these as bread and butter because of what they are. They're short alls. If you've never seen these or don't know the keywords to use, you can use short all, overall, bibs. These are cute. So definitely bread and butter. Do you guys remember when overalls were like all the rage and the fashion in the 90s? Maybe they're making a comeback. I remember so many movies where the girls would wear them and Rachel Warm and Friends. Rewash. Kind of a poopy brand, but I'm going to go ahead and sell it. But I'm going to put it in the poop, okay? I would not source these in the wild. I would not pick these up on purpose. Um, but when I get a box of something sent to me or I have a lot, I do try to get every penny out of it that I can. So anything that's not utter trash, poop, destroyed, damaged, um, I will list and get all the money I can out of it. The couple good pieces that you get are going to pay for, you know, the lot or the box, whatever you bought. And everything else is icing on the cake. This is Isabel Maternity. I'm going to call this bread and butter. Um, in the past, I had thought that this was poop. I don't really deal with maternity clothes unless they come to me like this. But... Um, I had a couple pairs that I listed from a couple boxes ago, and they sold together in a bundle on Poshmark pretty quickly for a pretty good amount. So I'm going to put them in bread and butter. We got Old Navy. See, I think Old Navy's bread and butter, by the way. I always start those around 20. I think they're sending me, oh my gosh, it's like this whole box is nothing but white and more white. Let's see what's in here. Look how tiny. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite brands for jeans, or one of my favorite lines, I should say. Uh, YMI, in and of itself, is a poop brand. So if you ever find YMI jeans, pass. But if they are, is it focusing? Want a better butt? Grab them, because every woman wants a better butt. And the jean shorts are even better. I start the full length jeans around 25. They usually come in smaller junior sizes, so they'll ship first class. And they usually sell pretty quickly. Uh, the Wanna Bet a Bet's one of my favorites to pick up. These will probably start around 20. And they should sell pretty quickly because they are the Wanna Bet a Bet's. They're very small size and they're jean shorts. Um, booty shorts do really well. Back there it goes. I'm trying to pull without looking, and that's probably not going to work. Ooh, more jean shorts. I love jean shorts. Oh, these are a poop brand, but I'm going to call them bread and butter. Because, again, with even poop brands, denim shorts, cutoffs, booty shorts, they're different. There are some poop brands, jeans, you can't pay people to take out of your eBay store. 
um, or your Bosch closet or whatever. And then you can have a pair of that same brand in denim shorts and sell them for 30 or 35 bucks. Just is. These are their own category. They're different. That's the brand. Don't ever pick up full length jeans of that brand. Seriously, though. But, like, if you have a dollar day or a two dollar day at your local thrifts, go through the jeans once in a while. Um, there's times where I will just go through and everything that's 99 cents or a dollar 50, I'll grab everything and come out with a stack. Flying Monkey. I want to. Knee jerk reaction is to call these bread and butter because I feel like I just had these recently. Um, but I'm not, I'm not certain where that memory is coming from. I don't think they've been in a thread up recently, but I may have just measured a pair of this brand yesterday and they're sitting over here getting ready to be photographed. I want to look them up just to be sure because I don't know everything. Surprise guys. I don't know every single brand by heart. I haven't seen every single brand. I've never sourced every single brand. And I am always learning. I might be a pro or an expert or do this full time. Um, but no one ever knows everything. And no one ever stops learning. These are really tangled in here. Let's go with these. Our maternity. I can tell by the... The belly panel. That's what that's called. If you didn't know, this stretchy area is called the belly panel. Super skinny Coop Ultra. I am not seeing a brand. Well, we'll call them poop, but they're still getting listed. Because, you know, they actually feel really thin and comfortable. But they might be like first class is what I'm trying to say. Because they feel so thin. So I'll probably list them for about 20. We have a lucky brand. White. Of course it's white. I hate white. Why don't you whine about it, Star? This is pretty cool though. We'll call it bread and butter. Instinctually, I want to say 30 or 35. We'll have to comp it. Pretty cool denim jacket. These are really stuck in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these out for ease of the video. And I'll be right back. Boop. I'm back. Look at this. I got another denim jacket. This is a poop brand. No, it's not. This one is. Um, so we'll look at the shorts first. This is a poop brand. 151. I would avoid this if you see it at the thrifts. Um, the saving grace for these is they are denim shorts. So I'm still going to put them down as bread and butter. It's a poop brand, but like, again, shorts are different. And denim jackets are the same. Like, they can be more valuable if it's a denim jacket and a specific brand versus a pair of jeans. And I'm pretty tickle pink about this brand. Torrid. This is a good brand for jeans. It is a known and trusted brand for plus size, women's plus size. It has a definite loyal customer base and following. I do like sourcing the jeans, but I'm very thrilled to have a jean jacket. Um, again, my gut wants to say like 35. The part of me that likes price high wants to say 40, but we'll have to comp it. I'm going to count this as a... Um, bread and butter because Torrid's still just a bread and butter brand. Um, it used to be a lot better, but you know what happens when people race to the bottom. Poop brand, wit and wisdom, but it is a plus size. I'm going to list it and sell it, but I'm still going to market it as a poop. Maternity shorts. How cute are these? Isabel maternity. So the same brand as the other I was talking about and they're cute little denim shorts probably want to get these up sooner than later um, because somewhere right now someone is very pregnant and very hot in the summertime and they want a pair of shorts right all right next up old navy these are men's 38 32s solid bread and butter 
I start all my men's old navies at um, 25, 25. I think my ticks are wrong. They are. I crossed the line of three down there at the bottom. I'll fix it. Wild Fable. Poop. This is poop all day, but these are cool. Okay, so this is poop, but why are these so cool? The whole entire side. I mean, are these like, what are they supposed to be? Air conditioning jeans? The entire side of these jeans unzips the leg on both sides. So would you just like wear these open like a, I don't know. You guys, if you have any idea what this is called or what kind of stuff is going on here, <laughs> please help me out. Tell me what these are and why you would wear these. I mean, they literally on the sides of both legs from the ankle up unzip and then you could just wear them open. Please help me. Please tell me what these are. Please help. I'm going to show you the brand. These are pretty cool though. I mean, they do have the zippers and the bra hems. And this is a brand I will always avoid though. So again, if you see Wild Fable in the Wild, probably not so much. But you get it in a wholesale lot, go ahead and list it. Get every penny out of that lot you can. Gap Kids, bread and butter. I think we usually start these around 14. Maybe a little bit more. These are cool. Um, B denim, which is poop. But, again, I have been gifted with a cool pair of poop. <laughs> like those zip-ups. So this is Buttonfly. It's got that going for it. Um, I usually upsize. Ups I upsize like I'm in McDonald's. Um, I upcharge for Buttonfly. So, for instance, most women's Old Navies, I start around $20. If it has Buttonfly, I start at $22. Button flies make them more valuable. You can ask for more money. These have raw hems. Poop brand. But check out the coolness of these. It's like a light wash denim and a black denim jeans sewn together for a contrasting look. That is pretty, pretty nifty. Right? Oh, my camera was really blurry there. Okay, next up, some more shorts. This is a, this is a poo brand. And it is not even shorts. It's a skirt. And these is a poop brand. Almost famous. Definitely poop. I'm going to count it as poop. Count that other pair as poop. And uh, it's a button-up skirt. Buttons all the way up front. I'm going to list it. Would I source it? Probably not. Nine West jeans. I wouldn't source these. These are poop. Am I going to list them and ask 20 bucks for them? Yep, I sure am. Size 12. Uh, elastic pull on. So, I mean, they have some things going for them. They're not too sad. They're not all the way too sad. Old Navy. Solid bread and butter. It's an old navy denim jacket. We'll start that around 25. Do, do, do. I like when I get things that I don't have to comp. I also like when I get things that are new to me. So, you know, things you don't have to comp, you can easily list. You don't have to look them up. You know what you're going to ask for it. But when I get brands that are new to me in these startup boxes, sometimes I discover a new bolo brand or a new bread and butter brand to be on the lookout for. So that's one of the reasons I like getting these. As I get brands that I probably sometimes wouldn't necessarily find in my area. And I get to learn new things. I also get 50 pounds of denim delivered directly to my door. That's nice. STS blue poop. But they're shorts. So we're going to call them bread and butters. Um, lots of shorts and denim jackets in here. I'm not complaining. Because those two things are sometimes better than getting regular jeans. Uh, 
denim. This is the poopest of the poop of the poop. I'm gonna call them poop, even though they're shorts, because they're definitely poop. But guess what? Gonna list them and sell them. Oh, those are my J brands. I think I put these over here for the thumbnail, unless I find something even better. I gotta pull this other box over. Okay, I've pulled it over. I've got stuff all over my lap. It's everywhere. Let's we'll start looking at it. This is a denim skirt cut off. Wild honey. Wild honey. I'm going to, this is poop, but I'm going to call it bread and butter because it is a denim skirt. It is cut off and it has a unique style to it so that's something too a lot of items that are poop brands if they're new with tags if they have good graphics if they're a good sign if they're unique not a good sign a good size um, there's just a lot of factors that can go into it that even though it's a poop brand can make it a bread and butter item um, there's an exception to every rule you know every poop brand has bread and butter items or pieces Every bread and butter brand has some bolos and some poops. So, I need to drink water. I apparently needed a big drink of water. Want a butt a butt? Were we just talking about these? One of Star's favorite bread and butters. Full length jeans. They're ripped and distressed. So, this is um, a pair that I will probably start at 25. Just because they have the ripping, the ripping and the tearing. All right, next up we have Classics in Tear. So this is kind of a boot brand. But check it out. This is really cool. I'm going to try to scoot closer to show you this. So it is like a, almost a... It's not a full length, but it's a very long. It's not a normal, you know, denim jacket length. This is a very long denim jacket coat. It even has um, back here where it gathers. It's long. It has fancy sleeves. It has that same embroidery around the collar. And here on the front where it is a snap button. This is actually pretty cool. And it's an extra small. Smaller sizes can sell too. We're going to call this a bread and butter just because even though it's a really bad poop brand, it is such a unique and good item. And with the right keywords and really good pictures... Um, gut instinct, I want to say 30, 35. Of course, we'll comp it and find out everybody's selling it for 10 free ship, right? Rue 21, poop. Poop, but I'm still going to sell them. These are small. They're going to ship first class. These are skinny jeans, and they are actually jeggings is what the tag says. So I'll list them as jeggings, and they're size 1. I have in my lap. Ooh. Ooh. Madewell. This is a Bola brand. Okay, I'm going to pull and everything's going to come out on me. Look at that. Things are falling on the floor. Carhartt. That's a solid bread and butter brand. It's men's clothing usually. Um, we find a lot of their button front shirts. I do like this brand. Um, it doesn't sell for a lot of money, but it sells quickly. It's a very solid bread and butter brand. Um, I know there's a lot of resellers who will turn their nose up at it, but we like it. I especially like the shirts, but I'll take a pair of men's jeans. Um, these are actually a good size. They're 42 by 30. And... Um, they are lined. So these are like hunting, camping, hiking, 
Oh boy, the keywords are just flowing. But they are the fleece lined, you know, sweatpants inside, I guess. Um, jeans that hunters will wear, or people that are out camping, keeps you warm up in the mountains and when you're outside. So that's actually a really good find. I'm going to call these a bolo. Because um, usually when you find men's camping and hiking gear specific, um, it can go for good money. In fact, let's comp those. Because I'm kind of curious. I love this brand, but I've never had this kind of um, item from that brand before. So we'll comp them at the end and see what happens. All right. Massimo. Solid. It's Target. But it has a loyal fan base, and um, people shop for this brand all the time. American Eagle. This is the 360 Super Stretch. So that's something I would charge extra for. I'd start these around 22 because they have that extra stretch. And it does make them uh, worth more. You can ask more. Um my fit jeans oh these are probably from wish <laughs> these are called my fit it's way over here i do need one more drink of water real quick i'm gonna call these poops but i'm still gonna try to sell them get every penny you can out of these lots folks seven for all mankind this is bread and butter um a lot of people don't like this brand anymore, and that's cool. More for me. Um, if you find the seven for all mankinds that have the seven on the back pocket, and they say Dojo, D-O-J-O in the van, those are bolos. The last pair I had sold for $60 in a few hours on Poshmark. Uh, the other seven for all mankinds, I mean, I'll start them around 30 or 35, depending these are size 28. They're nice button flies. <clears throat> They're distressed and ripped. So this is, oh, they also have raw hems. So this is a, an example of a pair I would start at 35. Um, it's still a bread and butter brand, though, so we'll put it under bread and butter. Blue asphalt, and this is, this is solid poop. Solid poop right there, folks, but I'm going to sell it. Abound. Boop. Poop, poop, be doop, poop. Let's pull this over here and dig on in. They all just want to fall on the floor every time. Lucky brand. That's a bread and butter. But you know what is sad? When I first started reselling, this was a bolo brand, and you could start them at $40. I'm not going to say anything about racing to the bottom. I'll let that speak for itself. I start them around 2025 20, now. Levi's Red Tab. This may be a bolo. This may be something really good. It is a button front shirt, extra large. It is a men's. The buttons, right? The buttons. Yes, this is a mint. So we're going to look that up together. Just to be sure. And GB. Um, I don't know. It's a cut off skirt. And it has a button fly. I'm still going to call it poop, but I'm still going to list it and try to get some money for it. And then I have... Signature Levi Strauss. So this is bread and butter Levi's. Um, the, sig the signatures can be found at Walmart. So we'll call that bread and butter. I dropped something on the floor. Aero Pastel. Little tiny booty jeans. Low rise midi. Triple zero. So very small. Booty shorts. These are definite bread and butter. These triple zero shorts. Put 
put them in bread and butter. Just a couple more pieces, guys, and then we got a couple comps to do. Uh, Land's End. I mean, that's a poop brand anymore. But this is a denim jacket, so I will call it bread and butter because, you know what, when I find denim jackets and jeans, denim shorts, not, de not jeans, let me start over. When I find jean jackets, denim jackets, or jean shorts at the thrift, um, again, I'm not really that discerning about brands. Most jean jackets and jean shorts are going to do well. Let's put those there. Uh, poop. Energy. Put those in the poop column. Let's see what we got here. These are shorts. They're shorts. Oh, this is such a <laughs> this is a poop brand. Ask me how I know. Because when we first started reselling years ago and we were learning and we were buying everything that was 99 cents to bring it home and sell it, this is one of the brands I used to insist upon grabbing. I don't know why. I eventually learned to not grab them anymore. Poop. Poop. I'll still probably get 18 bucks more, believe it or not. Blue asphalt, again, that's poop. I got a lot of sh shit. Poop. And this here box. All right. Westport. Poop. They have raw hymns. They're cute, but it's still a poop brand. And then we have... And Taylor Loft. I mean, that's bread and butter. I don't really like to pick it up when I find it anymore, but it's still bread and butter. It's slow. You get about 20 bucks. Are right, you guys ready to comp? I am. Let's start with those really cool car hearts. They're relaxed fit lined jeans. Um, so let's try car. Our heart. Oh, one word star. I don't know why I put a space. Carhartt and blind jeans. Fleece lined. That's what I'm looking for. Let me add that in. Um, we got one listed here for 48. 40. We got some turds. $20 for shipping. Looks like they're $30 or $40 jeans all in, depending on what people are charging for shipping. Let's go to solds. Yeah, I'm probably going to put mine up for $40. Um, so, I'm happy with those. Let's check the. You guys really don't want to look at that screen. Um, let's check this. Excuse me. This is the Levi's Red Tab Men's Button Front Denim Shirt. So this one's up for almost 30. This one's up for like 60. That's an auction. We got right around 42 here. 48. Let's look at those are solds. All right. So let's check what's actually listed. Um, so we're looking at like 30 to 40. And there's always going to be turds. Uh, probably less mine. There's something here for 50. Maybe we'll do 40, 45. I'm going to call it a money. We're going to call it a money, money. All right. Flying monkey. Remember, these were the ones that seemed like I should know. Let's see. We've got... 
you know, 30 to 35. Let's see what they actually sell for. Um, I don't want to dig too deep. We're just going to call flying monkey bread and butters. It looks like, you know, 20 to 30. All right, now we're going to look at this brand that I've never even heard of. The Moosies. Moosey. Moosey Vintage Jeans. Well, this sounds promising. This says Moosey was established in 2000. So, if these were made in 2000 up to 2003, they could be vintage. 20 years is vintage. Let's see what their tag looks like. I don't want to dig too deep, you know what I mean? But, oh, the tag actually says Moosey Vintage. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take that out. Moosey Jeans. Looks like 30, 30. Still pretty decent. Um, there's some up for 85. I have to make sure I find the ones that don't have the vintage because that's, mine doesn't say that. So probably 30, I mean, but some of these that don't are going for a pretty lot of money. A pretty lot of money. I mean, I'm going to call them money and we'll do a little more research on, you know, our own time and actually get a good comp on them before we list them but I'm pretty confident we're gonna list them pretty high this is what they look like the tags so that's pretty exciting all right so I've had five total monies 30 bread and butters and 16 poops. So I have 35 that are bread and butter or better and 16 poops. So like half the box, a little more than half is pretty good, decent, and half is poop. But keep in mind that even with poop brands, um, you can sell them. Like I said, you want to get every penny you can out of your box. They're going to have a longer tail. They're going to have a longer tail. They're going to take longer to sell. They're going to be long tail. They're going to have a lower sell through rate, but they will eventually sell. And even on the low end of some of those poops, you're looking at like a 7 to $8 profit. So we'll say 7 That's after cost of goods, shipping fees, and all that. You're still going to make $112 on just your poops. Remember, I only paid $60.99 for the whole box. You know, and then if you're looking at uh, $300 on the bread and butters, because there's $30, that's about $10 profit. And the five money brands, you're probably looking more like $20 profit. So that's another $100. That's a $512 box. And it's my cost, $450 profit right here. Delivered to my door. I didn't have to go out. I didn't have to drive around. I didn't have to go into the thrift stores and go on the rack one by one. Of course, going and doing that, you find better items, but you're spending more time, more gas money. You know, so these are delivered right to your house. So I have a total of 51 viable pairs of jeans to sell at $60.99 all in. That's $1.19 per pair. And that's five really good pairs, 30 solid bread and butter pieces, and 16 poops. But even once all the poops sell, they're already profiting off of what the amount I paid for the box. So pretty good. $1.19 per pair. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Until next time, go be productive, go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching.
Y'all are the best. Bye.